Yo, what's good, my people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian, and this is Kingdom Sense. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a few fragrances from the House of Alexandria Fragrances. If you are not aware, Alexandria Fragrances is a house out of California, and they specialize in um, clones or fragrances that are inspired by other fragrances. And they make some of the best clones. I mean, Hani over there makes crazy, crazy uh, clones and very, very close ones. And most of them project and, and last a very long time because they are uh, extract to parfums. So um, in the Labor Day uh, sale, they had a uh, great deal on, on the fragrances in their store. So um, I decided to check out a few and I ordered this sample set here and this sample set comes with seven fragrances that I wanted to check out and uh, the people of Alexandra fragrances nice so kindly gave me a little sample of one of their new fragrances that is an original creation called work hard stay humble and that's actually what we're going to um, check out right now so let's open this one up and see what it smells like well, this is the little atomizer that it came in here so let's grab a test strip and let's check it out okay. all right so work hard stay humble great great inspirational words all right so off the top very very classy very masculine fragrance here very green cl uh, clean fragrance you have some type of vibrancy at the top you have some like citruses and something vibrant but then you have some type of uh, classic masculine scent here. Let's look up the notes, see what we got here. Okay, so this is a work hard, stay humble. All right, here we go. So work hard, stay humble. This is going to be top notes of bergamot, grapefruit, sage. That's the greenness that I get. Ginger and pepper. Okay, so a little spicy. Uh, bright effervescent very very um uplifting this is a very vibrant fragrance this is not this is something you wear in the daytime probably not something you're going to be wearing at nighttime now it has in the middle notes it has iris the iris in here is not very powdery not very makeup like maybe a slight hint of iris but i don't get that a lot okay you have tobacco tonka bean labdanum benzoin and then you have in the base you have some amber patchouli cedar wood vetiver definitely get vetiver and amorous so in my opinion this is a clean manly scent that is um kind of like a fougerish type of scent barbershop type of scent it's a very clean very sophisticated very manly i think that any guy that is above the age of 25 would probably appreciate this more this is a fragrance that yeah it's very it's very clean very nice smelling um which i would expect but yeah nice fragrance okay not bad not bad so here we go we're gonna open up this sample set and we're gonna check out the fragrances that i got uh first fragrance that i got is a fragrance called visionary and this fragrance is called Visionary, and it's a Louis Vuitton Imagination clone. And I absolutely love Louis Vuitton's Imagination. I think it's one of the best scents. Probably it could be somebody's signature scent, honestly. So that is why I wanted to check out because I know that Fragrance World has one called Essence de Blanc, and it's supposed to be also an Imagination clone. So I wanted to check them out to see uh, which one is closer which one is better whatever it is okay so let's check it out okay here we go oh my god 
<laughs> Man, this is so good. This smells so good. You get citron and bergamot at the top with some orange and neroli. So if you don't like neroli, you're not probably not going to like this, but neroli and ginger. Very bright, just like the other one, but this was definitely more citrusy. It has some black tea, guyac wood, which is some oud, and broxen, and has some cinnamon. Very interesting note breakdown, but this smells extremely close to imagination. I'm talking about extremely close, like you're you're looking at 85 to 90 percent imagination. I love this fragrance. I wore this to work not too long ago. Um, and I loved every minute of it, but the issue with this fragrance was that the minutes didn't last long. This is this, I wore this one day and I went through this five milliliter bottle, almost the entire thing. Um, so because it's such a bright, fresh, clean citrusy type of fragrance, it just doesn't last as long doesn't last that long i would say probably if you overspray, it'll last you good four to six hours but not a very big performer but when it comes to the scent profile and how it smells it smells divine it smells so clean and and just citrusy and uplifting it's it's great it's amazing so yeah i'm giving that we're gonna rank these why not let's rank these visionary when it comes to the closest to the uh, the scent profile and how close it gets, scent profile gets, I'm giving this a nine out of 10. Definitely nine out of 10. I mean, it is so close and it is so good. Good job. All right, so the next fragrance is going to be another fresh one that I wanted to check out. It's one of their newer ones and it is called Isola di Santorini. Isola di Santorini. So this fragrance. Uh, let's look it up. Just looking up the notes real quick. Isola di Santorini. Here we go. This is inspired by uh, Isola Blue by Roja Dove, which uh, just came out not too long ago. And everybody has been going kind of crazy about this fragrance. No notes on this fragrance, but... It's whatever. Let's uh, let's check out what it smells like real quick, so I could give you a um a more in-depth view of it. So Isola Blue, I mean, you already know Roja Dove is so expensive. So if you could get, and then if you look at the note breakdown, I mean, I'm looking at the Isola, the Isola Blue breakdown right here. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 notes. 28 notes. You could distinguish 28 notes. Psh, hey, you're a boss. I mean, but let's check it out. All right, so here we go. man <laughs> this is um definitely clean lavender some green notes and this is something that has been going on like the green notes with the citrus together gives us such a good like combination like for example uh the louis vuitton um what's that one called lemensity another one that's citrusy fresh and green and it smells incredible and this is this has that this has a very very um not sweet but very realistic lime it has lemon lime and bergamot at the top you have a green apple and you have some black currants very juicy this is very watery juicy fresh it is definitely summertime vibes this is not something you wear in the winter time unless you really really want to it's completely up to you but this has coconut it has ah oh, it's it's just summertime it's it's you going to the beach is you're sitting by the beach uh eating a pizza with your friends 
or just walking down a boardwalk or something like that. That's what this gives me. It smells so good. It has a grass note. That's so weird. But yeah, this one. I'm giving this another 9 out of 10. This smells incredible. Man, yo, honey's killing it. Yeah, 9 out of 10. So, Visionary, Solar Blue, both of them 9 out of 10. Both of them easily full bottle worthy. Straight up. All right, so let's check this one out. Now, I did wear the Solar Blue, and uh, that one lasts a little longer than the Visionary. Still not like a beast mode or anything like that, but you'll get a good six to seven hours with that fragrance. And like I said, summer, spring, summer, high heat vibes. That's what that one is for. So this next one is going to is gonna be called Malibu Beach. Malibu Beach. And I don't know anything about Malibu. Never been to Malibu. But give me one second. Malibu Beach. Malibu Beach. No edits here. Shout out to Fatboy Fragrance. Okay. So Malibu Beach is a clone of Amwaj's Beach Hut or Beach Hut Man. So let's check it out. Now, I, I have smelled Beach Hut Man or Beach Hut. And to be honest, the first time I smelled it, it surprised me because Beach Hut you thinking beach hut beach you're gonna smell some salty notes some aquatic notes some citrus notes but it's actually not that at all it smells like a beach hut it has a little bit of a rubbery smell which is kind of weird i know it, so it smells weird it sounds weird but it has like a rubbery type of note here like a scent but it smells like imagine you're going you're you're in a, a, a hut or old hut in the beach that's what it smells like it smells green it's very green type of fragrance but it's a clean green it's not I, I can't explain it it's like woody green type of fragrance that is very summery but it's not citrusy so this can be in a spring or summertime, but it is not a citrus forward fragrance. This is more of a green fragrance. Now let's pull up the notes of Beach Hut, man. So, so, so I can give you an idea of what it smells like. So Beach Hut, man. Let's see. So you have mint, uh, galbanum, ivy, vetiver, oak moss, woody notes, patchouli, all green notes, man. And the orange blossom is probably like the only one that's not really a green note. It's more of like a, a flower. But it's very green. Very green, natural smelling. This is a very natural scent. In the beginning, you have that rubber ball type of scent. But then after a while, that dissipates and it, and it goes away. And you're just left with a very nice green. If you like super green, natural scents, this is a great one. Mm, it smells so good. Um, I'll give that one an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Great stuff. I just like the other ones a little bit more. All right. So this next fragrance I got here, I have here is uh, called King Tut. And this one is Creation E or Enigma by Roja. So this is, check this one out. And see if it's any good. Now, anybody, if anybody ever uh, heard of Enigma, it has it's supposed to be having like a kind of like a fizzy cola type of vibe. So let's check to see if this has the same thing. I have smelled that one, and I actually really, really like Enigma. So, <sighs> dang. Okay, this one smells more of a rubber ball like a handball of like a rubbery squishy ball definitely has a little fizz to it hmm. okay so 
uh is it close to enigma yes it's close to enigma um this is a niche type of uh sim profile so it's not going to be as mass appealing as like visionary for example but it is extremely nice this is the type of fragrance that it smells better once it settles on your skin and you smell it in the air it smells better but off the gate like it smells like a rubber ball it smells like a rubber ball with some fizz and some like dr pepper type of smell i don't i i, I don't know how to explain it but it smells unique it smells interesting i'm giving this one a 7.8 out of 10 7.8 out of 10 okay so the next one we're going to be checking out is called honey honey is uh honey's version of ani uh, so honey is the name of the perfumer over there in, in alexandria fragrances <clears throat> and this one is his inspiration or his take on ani by uh, ani by nishane okay so this is considered one of the best vanilla fragrances let's check it out i have smelled ani before I like Ani a lot. I think I would wear it more towards fall and winter time. Wow, that one is strong. Wow, it's like a vanilla cake. Like a cake pop or something. Sweet. A little citrusy, but it's more creamy vanilla. man that smells good wow it smells so close it smells so close to ani i can't wait for him to come out with ani x so the notes for ani if i could get to them oh man that smells so incredible okay so when this when this when you first spray it it is very very like it projects a lot very loud and it's in your face so this one you get some like definite vanilla you have some sweetness there i don't know where the sweetness is coming from slight booziness but then you have some like like citrus and something else giving it like a like a brighter uplifting okay so here are the notes for ani is ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, and green notes with some cardamom, black currant, and Turkish rose. Definitely get some rose here. And you have some vanilla, 100%. Benzoin, sandalwood, cedar, ambergris, some patchouli, and musk. So what do I get from the fragrance? In the beginning, you get the, the ginger and the citrus, which is a bergamot together, which is very in your face. It smacks you in the face. It's very uplifting and vibrant. After a while, it kind of settles down. You get vanilla from the gate, but this one settles down and it gets like a more cardamom vanilla cake type of fragrance, like, like a sponge cake or a vanilla cake pop. That's the type of fragrance I get is sweet, very realistic vanilla but it smells so good it's a great date night fragrance i think that this is amazing and how close it gets to ani it's unreal what this guy can do it's incredible Ugh, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten on that one that is crazy all right so we got a 9.5 a 9.5 no we got two nine three nines out of ten you have a eight out of ten and a seven point eight out of ten okay let's check the next one out because i don't want to make this video too crazy so this is called fame 15 this next one's called fame 15 and this is supposed to be um their take on andy warhol now i was told that the best andy warhol is by another brand and i don't want to say their name yet because i don't want to i want to order it first before i before i even you know say that but this is going to be fame 15 andy warhol by bond number nine so let's check it out ah, this is so good <laughs> this is so good this is juicy plum this is a juicy plum fragrance 
manly, dark, a little bit woody. I think it has oud in it. Let's just check out Andy Warhol. Oh my God. It smells so good. Bond number nine is Andy Warhol. I think this is an, a discontinued fragrance. So in order for you to get this, it's going to be crazy expensive. It's, it's like uplifting, but at the same time is dark. It's so crazy. Scent profile is unbelievable. Plum, cypress, citruses, and bergamot. You have some oud, labdanum, rose, patchouli, jasmine. And then you have some vanilla, some sandalwood, musk, and um, alabanum. Very nice. V extremely nice. If you like plum, if you like juicy, bright plum, not the dark, pruny ones, like this is an uplifting, this is not like... How could I say like plum Japanese? If if you think of plum Japanese, that's more of it's a little juicy, but it's more like a dark. It's very dark fragrance. This one has some darkness, but it has some uplifting notes also. The plum is definitely the star, uh, but it's it's helped out and and lifted up by the citruses, and then you have like this balance with the oud and with the vanilla so this is a great fragrance oh this is a, a 8.5 out of 10. Uh, obviously these are all first impressions most of them are first impressions yeah 8.5 out of 10 highly recommend and this is just the scent profile is a 9 out of 10. the uh the fragrance smells incredible but it'll be more of like an 8.5 out of 10. and the very last fragrance this is one that i wore I actually wore this one and this one is my favorite of the entire haul. This is my favorite. Uh, this is 1981X, 1981X. And this is their take on Zerzhov's Naxos. Regarded one of the best niche fragrances of all time, regarded as the best tobacco fragrance of all time. This one is incredible. It opens up very, very vibrant and very uplifting and energetic. Honestly, it smells, I don't know. It has like this uplifting scent to it, but then after a while, it'll kind of like tone itself down and you get more of the honey and the tobacco scent is very sweet, vanilla, honey. It is a perfect, perfect, perfect date night fragrance. Um, this always got compared a lot to uh, Mugler's Pure Havan. That's what this got compared to. And I, I, I see the resemblance because they're both honey and tobacco, but this one is more high quality. You have the cinnamon honey and you have some lavender which gives it like a cleanness and some bergamot and lemon at the top which are very bright and in this version is brighter than the naxos version naxos version is a little bit more tame and a little bit more well balanced this one has in the opening is much much brighter but once it goes it, it, it's it um tones down and it dries a little bit it gets closer to the Naxos DNA, making it a good 85%, maybe 85 to 90% close to the original. You have vanilla, tobacco, tonka bean. You have some cashmere and cinnamon, honey, and just this great clean lavender and citrus combo. Best one. Out of all of these, this is my 9.5 out of 10. This is my 9.5 out of 10. If I had to rate them, my favorite, if it was top three, oof, top three, top four, <laughs> four out of seven. Let's do a top three. I would say number one will be 1981X. Number two would be visionary, scent profile wise, visionary. 
And number three would be Hani, just because of the longevity. That one lasts incredibly long. That one lasts all day, eight to 10 hours easy. And so does his 1981X. Yeah, that those are my thoughts on these fragrances. I'm gonna give them a little bit more wear. If I were to buy full bottles of these, I would say I would buy a full bottle of 1981X. I would get the Visionary. I would get the Sola, the Centaurini or whatever it's called, and the Hani. Those are the four that I would get full bottles of. I'll maybe hold off on the Andy Warhol one, even though it smells great. I will hold off on them. And the other two fragrances are very occasional fragrances. I can't see myself being uh, wearing those on other than anywhere other than special occasions or certain occasions. So that's why I dock some points on versatility for those. But all of these smell incredible. Quality is off, like uh, above the roof. Like it's, it's blowing the roof off, blowing the roof off. Yeah, blowing the roof off. I said it. These are great. These are fra fragrances that are you could get like a good 30 milliliter for like 30 something dollars, 40 dollars or something like that. And and you'll get that scent profile. You get enough of this because these are extra. So these are potent. So you could wear these. You don't need a big, big bottle of those. And from my experience of of Alexandria fragrances, they just have some great stuff, man. Their Tiger clone is incredible. Probably one of the best ones. And their um, Dark Knight, which is their Black Phantom clone, spot on 99% close. It's incredible. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry. I know that this is a longer video, but I wanted to uh, share my experiences with all these new fragrances. Thank you guys again for watching. Please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment down below letting me know what is your favorite Alexandria fragrance. Um bottle or fragrance let me know what's your favorite one and uh, maybe i'll check them out in the future video let's have a conversation but thank you thanks again god bless you all and i'll see you in the next one take care